Big deal. You're not a hero, Gwyneth. I was a fool for clicking on this article. I regret it. All right. You know what I won't regret? Is having our next guest on. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't listen to his podcast, you're an idiot because it's hilarious. And it's one of my absolute favorites. So this is my, like, who are these podcasts is my go-to. Me and Frank's go-to podcast that we listen to and download for flights, long drives. It's always the go-to. So I'm so happy that he is here with me today to go over the latest drama on our, about our good friend, Stutcho. Welcome to the show, Carl. Thanks, Chrissy. What a segue. You are a pro, I have to tell you. Well done. Hey. Are you ever not broadcasting? I don't know no. how you do it. Never not. Yesterday, I didn't. Uh, and Frank got Crazy. mad at me. So I feel like you want me to sim for you. Chrissy, you're nailing it. All right. Stop Is that what you it. Want me to say? Oh, yeah, there you go. Stop <laughs> it. Go on. You know who we both sim for a lot is one stuttering John. Another and brilliant segue. There are a couple. She's so on it. Ah! <laughs> I'm really, I'm really coming into my own lately. You are. <laughs> it sounds sexual. So, oh God, I had a funny dream the other night that the CEO of Blaze, like, took me in for a meeting and was like, I don't know if the feeling was that he was going to offer me a show, but it's a, it was such a randomly specific dream. I don't know. Did Anytime you, get you sexy have a, after that, no, oh, I know. Okay. Usually, it'd be like me, like you know, in the dream, I'm putting my hair in a ponytail and rolling up my sleeves and like <laughs> spitting into my hands, but yeah. that did that's, not that's happen. That's what I was picturing too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's how we get shows here. Wait, from Torgo the White Farron was great. New Simcast regular. Yes, I am going to get her on a Simcast uh, sometime in October. I think we have a date for her. Okay, so. Before we launch into what I specifically wanted to go over about Stutcho, I think the last time we spoke, he was trying to, or maybe it was when I did your show with Florentine. Uh, I love that, by the way, like people clipped out the point where I was, it was a hot mic and I was like, the Jews are taking over upstate New York, but they clipped out the part where I said upstate New York. So it just sounds like I'm saying the Jews are taking over. Yeah. There, there was a whole debate over whether you were serious or not, which tells me that these people <laughs> are really grasping at straws with that one. They're like, see, she's an anti-Semite. Like, right, we do no, it. <laughs> and, okay, the latest at that point was that Stuttering John was trying to sue you, trying to – basically, they, for people who are not familiar, there's been, like, an ongoing battle. Stuttering John – it was what sending you cease and desists, like wants you to stop using his Patreon or his podcast episodes in your show. Yeah, well, it's a little funnier than that because in the <laughs> cease and desist that I let Chrissy and Frank read, he does admit that because he's a public figure, we are allowed to use clips of his show and comment on it. But what he accused me of doing in the cease and desist was um, going after his children, going after the school that he's a substitute teacher at, going after his comedy gigs to get them canceled. He could be doing all of this nefarious stuff behind the scenes. And Chrissy, I'm a lazy, lazy man. I, I'm lucky I put out two episodes a week of Who Are These Podcasts. There's no way yeah, I'm making phone calls. Yeah, it's all you can and... do. Like, you do so <laughs> much prep for your show. Yeah, you wouldn't it's... have time to do anything else. Yeah, it's, it's enough already. I don't have time for that shit. Also, the idea that I'd want to cancel John's gigs, when John does a stand-up show and I get audio of it, I have five hours of material. From just a 40 yeah. minute set so i do not you, want anything he does canceled ever you want him to keep doing things of like if anything you'd like rent a bus out to send people to like that's what we should do maybe i'll call ron DeSantis. i'll be like how can we send these migrants to stuttering john's stand-up gigs <laughs> yeah be packed. To just like pack you know just to paper the audience we tried to book stuttering john uh back a couple of years ago because uh, i know all the owners of the comedy club here and uh, they were trying to get this tour going with uh, who's the porn star who's now in jail for rape? Um, Army the, Hammer? No. no, no, he's not a porn star. No, the the super famous fat guy. Oh, uh, yeah, Drawing of a course. Um, Jeremy. Yes, Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. So Ron Jeremy and Stuttering John were trying to do this like comedy tour thing, and they what? put it out on on Twitter like, "Hey, we're doing this tour, so book us." So we we called them from the club and tried to book them. They wanted like $10,000 or something ridiculous. It's like, we, we, won't, we won't sell more than 20 tickets to this thing. And they're so all going to be there to laugh the, at you. You were trying to book the two of them? 
Yeah, and it was uh, Brian Dunkelman, too. It was the three of them. Dunkelman? Yeah. You know who that is? No, but it He's sounds cool like guy. Newman. It sounds like Dunkelman. It's Dunkelman a- was the guy who was the co-host of American Idol, along with Ryan Seacrest in the first season. And then Dunkelman left that show to go on to bigger and better things, except for whoops. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so He did not. That's what he's known for. Oh, wow. Okay. So you've actually tried to book them. So we did and- try to book Stuttering John, because I-, I would love to get John more gigs and to get him out there doing his comedy. Me too. Maybe he would open for me. If, he- if only he would unblock me from Twitter. He's a headliner, Chrissy. He doesn't feature. He would never, ever be able to, of all his jokes, just pick out enough for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, is that a new drawing behind you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I redid my uh, studio with a bunch of fan art that's all over the walls now. Oh, People wow. do amazing fan art for Who Are These Podcasts. And this one behind me is, uh, I don't know why you can see it, but it's uh, Stuttering John in front of his green screen that's actively falling down. And you can see all the boxes <laughs> behind him. That's so good. Yeah, it's great. It's really funny. Oh, I wish there was a way you could like print out a GIF, like the GIF of him like seeing the roach and like falling oh. backwards is like one of my favorite. <laughs> you things. wish you could print that out and just have it on a loop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. That'd be funny. I feel like we have the technology for that. Sure. I'm trying to get more creative with insults because I don't want to get, uh, especially with Twitter. I'm gonna call people yeah. dingbats instead of saying. Cunt. Dingbats is good. You know what's a great one? Actually, there's a lot of D words that are funny. Like a, a dimwit's pretty dolt. good. I love dolt. Yeah, dolt's just and like, it really says do, it all. Doltard. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, is not a word. It's dotard. <laughs> it's, it's oh. How you pronounce it. and, and so John looked up this word dotard and calls Trump a dotard. And then people go, don't you hate the R word? You, you know, you shouldn't be saying this. Like, no, it's a real word. Dotard. It's a <laughs> no, step it's up from a retard. <laughs> it's a dotard. <laughs> exactly. Do a tard, a female tard. <laughs> Ray. Your singing uh, voice is just magical. <laughs> 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 Anthony B. By the way, I have to tell you, Chrissy, everyone loves your stuttering John. And I don't impression. understand why. <laughs> I know, but everyone loves yours the most. I, I was on uh, with Drew and Mike, and they were asking me who does the best stuttering John impression. I said producer Chris because he does the deep fake videos. But they all said they love your stuttering John impression. The wow. Most. I think I'm going to do it the live show in New York. Instead of like a, uh, a rap battle, we're going to do like a stuttering John impression yes. battle. Yes. Two oh, my time. God. Now I'm Determine really feeling pre-FOMO here. Seriously. I would love to see a Stutcho, Stutcho rap battle from Anthony B. Look, 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 love you, 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 b- 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 both stuttering John. Thanks, Anthony. Wow. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, yeah. Anytime I see, like, a new Twitter account, I'm like, this is stuttering John. This is what's happening. Okay. So, so let's, the people are up to date. So um, there was the cease and desist. He he supposedly called the Rochester police, supposedly talked to I, yeah. I was any of it true or he was just trying to make you feel threatened. I have an update on that. So John went out and tweeted that he talked to the RPD, my local police department, about getting me arrested and they talked about it on a show. I have a friend in the RPD, I talked to him, he looked through all the records. There's no John Melendez anywhere. And they he take, never called. He never called. He just he just made it up. He's just a liar. What a fucking liar. Yeah. And then wow. he got my um, he got a copyright strike against my YouTube channel, and I had to take down a YouTube video, or he got it taken down. And he had already done that with Patreon against me, too. And both times, I put in a counter notification that says, no, this is fair use, it's transformative. And so he gets, the way that the law works, DMCA, he has 10 days to then file a federal lawsuit to prove that he's taking this copyright seriously. And both times, he hasn't done it. So I got to put everything back up. Shuli just got a copyright strike by stuttering John. He had to take down a video. He's fighting it. Damn. John is just, I don't know. He's just throwing haymakers into the wind right now. <laughs> yeah, this is from Shuli. Um, this was tweeted out two days ago. Um, this is from Shuli. Remember the show and person that John wouldn't mention because he doesn't care and it doesn't bother him. Well, guess who was working late last night? You've tried this with Who Are These Pod and failed. Get ready to fail again, you pussy. The Uncle Rico <laughs> show will make you care. And this is strike. Wow, they, this is from when he, I guess he struck him on September 21st. Uh, and then it said content removed by John Melendez. So I guess he was able to take down a whole episode of his. Yeah, yeah that's what he did to me too. Damn. But now it's back up, and Shuli's will get his back up, too, and it's just going to draw more attention to it. 
I'm so surprised that there isn't a Twitter handle like at Beloved Chatter at this point. <laughs> I'm sure there is. Right. Oh, I said that. <laughs> Why is there no at Beloved Chatter yet? A Beloved Chatter's beloved one. Let's see if it's taken. Beloved Chatter. I love when Anthony, I love when Anthony talks about it. Dude, he's like, he's really, nope, it doesn't exist. He's really fired up uh, yeah. his rhetoric well, about Cedric John. Can I show you something really funny, Chrissy? You're yes. Gonna love this. I haven't, I haven't this talked about great. this on the show yet. I'm okay. Send it to you in the private chat. <gasps> Ooh. Somebody created a website for John's lawyer. It's it's called JD Dabbles and Associates. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> you have to pull this out. It's so funny. <gasps> oh my God. The tagline is legal expertise, even a substitute teacher could afford. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> so the whole website. JD Dabbles and Associates. Get on the path to shady representation today. <laughs> Free consultation. This is exactly who I would have imagined. About us, aggressive representation. We're the big dog in town. We go after them all, from major broadcasting companies to trolls using the R word slur in your live stream. <laughs> we don't back down from a fight, no matter how inconsequential. A focus on results. A thirty thousand dollars settlement with the insurance company of a security, the security firm, which was hired by Sharon Stone in nineteen ninety eight. Our record of success for our client list, uh, for our clients, for speak our clients. for itself. A <laughs> yeah. client, singular. Do you, know, do you know about that story? You know what this that was to? Sirius XM. Did a bodyguard of Sharon Stone beat him up or something? Well, yeah, back when John was on K Rock with Howard Stern, okay. he got hit by Sharon Stone's bodyguard. He sued for like two hundred and fifty thousand or three hundred thousand dollars, and then accepted a settlement of what he claimed in his book was fifteen thousand dollars. But now he's saying it's thirty thousand. I think he's getting confused. But he's claiming that as a legal victory because. Anthony goes, Damn. dude, you, you've never won a lawsuit. Go ahead and sue me. Just like, nope, that's not true. I got $30,000. That's not winning a lawsuit, John. They're just like, here's some money. Go away. All right, buddy. We don't, we don't want to deal with it. And wasn't this all done by Sirius then? And uh, not really him? Oh, pro well, yeah, probably K-Rock did it. Yeah, John never oh, okay. worked for Sirius XM. He, he left before they moved over. Okay. Wow. Get started today. Don't wait. Contact us for a free phone consultation. Let us help you figure out who to threaten legal action <laughs> against next. Former employees, anonymous super chatters, and ex shock jocks are all fair game. Oh uh, my God. I mean, you, don't, you don't have to read the whole site, but everything about this site is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> the about us this is great. Is so good. Current cases <laughs> Patreon and Jack Conti. <laughs> Fox searchlight pictures, Johnny Wood, homeless, a sad and vicious chatter, <laughs> <laughs> the criminal. Oh my God, this is really good. This is like really thoughtful. Our practice, personal attorney, an injury, workplace harassment, wrongful death. You know what's oh, great um, is that John cannot be funny. He has no ability to be <laughs> funny or amusing. But everyone who's goofing on John is hilarious. You go to Dabble's yeah. Anonymous, they're, they're making Twitter accounts. They got websites for his yes. security. Now it's great. It's the such amount a fun of, community. The amount of creativity that has come, that has been inspired by Stuttering John, yeah. uh, it eclipses whatever he's created. Uh, but by it's far. more fun. <laughs> yeah, totally. Who is this guy? Is this, is this a random <laughs> lawyer? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> wow. I want him representing me, though. This is so funny. Client reviews. Is it just John? Oh, yes. Yeah. Stuttering John Melendez, Susanna Melendez. Those are all the uh, <laughs> testimonials. I'm not going to say how much, but it was a lot. I got that with the help of my friend Jimmy Dabbles. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then you scroll down to uh, success stories. It's got Sirius XM appeal in motion. So <laughs> John tried to sue Sirius XM for right of publicity. It was this weird thing. And it was thrown out with prejudice. And Oof. so they, they appealed it. And for some reason, they actually allowed them to appeal it. And so they argued their case in front of a three-judge panel. And it's going nowhere. They had no <laughs> case. It's getting thrown out. But John still talks about it like it's going to happen. Damn. Wow. This is hilarious. Whoever yeah, did that, it's props great. to you. Props to you. Okay, so you're not worried about anything. No. No. No, but you know what? The, the harassment's annoying because, you know, he's trying to get my Patreon taken down. He's trying to get our YouTube channel taken down. And now he's going for Shuli pretty heavily. 
and yeah. it's just annoying. You know, it's just one more thing I have to deal with. And Shuli apparently like held back, he says, for a very long time. The first time Shuli came on my show. So Shuli left the Howard Stern show and we connected and I said, I want, love to have you on my show. And I, I talked to him. Anytime I talk to someone who knows people in the industry, I have this conversation. Hey, is it cool if we bring up blah, blah, blah? You know, because I yeah. just don't want to like put someone on the spot and then they're, they don't want to say anything. And it sucks for the show. Right. He goes, he goes, look at Carl. I'm taking the high road. I'm John. He's talked so much shit about me. I am not even going to address it. I go, that's fine. I understand. Take the high road. But John just kept hitting Julie to the point where Julie's like, all right, gloves are off, motherfucker. <laughs> and now he's got the Uncle Rico show that he's doing with Bob Levy and Mike Morris. And it's hilarious because they're just grabbing every clip from Dabbler's Anonymous and wow. fucking with John. And it's really funny. That's great. Yeah, that's what happens. He, he he harasses people till they get to the point where they're like, "All right, I I guess I'm in this too now." Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, love you guys. God, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow, you guys are awesome. Don't you get it? Bye guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.